Welcome to Shag Shop Wiring Edition. So on today's episode, we're gonna be working on wiring. Wiring for a whole lot of things. So the main goal for this is to get the back window to roll down. And we have the wiring harness all hooked up. We're gonna strip the rest of it, get it all taken apart, and figure out how we can get this back window to roll down. We're gonna get our tail lights all hooked up to the front and get ready to rock and roll with some electronics. Hey mom, look, the boys are back in town. As we have it all completely unstrung, we have been making progress. So this is the wiring harness that runs along the Forerunner door. <clears throat> Like I said, we want to be able to use this harness to run it to our switch. We're gonna have a switch bank up front um, for the wiring harness so we can roll down the back window. Now, with that being said, we are going to find out which wire controls the motor into the window. And then we also pulled out the wiring harness for the light up here. So that is gonna get run to a switch right there. So we got a lot of different things going on here, but we're making progress slowly but surely all righty well we're getting places <laughs> we uh took off the cover for the rear cargo hatch and now we're looking at the window motor and the lock actuator or yeah lock actuator for the back um, we have a control unit right here and i'm just trying to double check all of the wires to see which one that i truly need to keep off this wiring harness. So we're gonna dive into a little bit of everything into here. I'm still looking at the wiring harnesses and then we're gonna give it a little bit of power and see if we can uh, get it up and down. So let's try it. We have it all torn up. Well, we have figured out which one is our power coming in through here. So this is the actual window motor itself. You follow around all the way to the control unit here and it goes through the control unit and out through the front all the way to down here so we found out where everything is now what we're focusing on if we just walk over to see shag oh there's diesel hey D so if we see shag over here we are working on the switch now this is a stock uh, Toyota switch for the back window. So we are going to wire this in, wire up the rest of it, and get ready to rock and roll. Wire power. Wire power. After a few days of working on this, well, a few days off, we're coming back and working on this. We got a new switch, we got some testers, we're gonna test some wires out and try to figure out which way is which for this? So, without the control power getting box, the control box getting power, we can't actually control it. We're gonna have to bypass the module, go from the input here, and run connect to one of these wires that run all the way to out here. And then once it runs to here, it'll be ran to a switch down there, and then from the switch to power. Now we just got to figure out which one goes where and where goes what and how we can make this all work. Well, we have been making progress. We have the split made up in here. So we basically bypassed the control module, made the split, ran it all the way over to here, down through our two wires that we made the split to. And then if you get to our switch, we have our grounds, and then we have our two input outputs. Quick interjection. When we switched the switches, we ended up, since we only have two wires, when you put power to one wire and ground to the other, it'll go up. When you switch it, it'll go down. So your switch is supposed to reverse polarity in the wires themselves. Now, this being said, we ended up doing this we ended up taking the two wires and making them four because that was the best way to run it onto the switch. Now, that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. 
for the switch and then we have also have our two powers which are running down on the ground over there so that's done all i gotta do is find the ground over there and then we are moving on to the brake light which i'm trying to get wired up so that way i can run it along into the rest of the brake lights we are working on the hatch tail light now, this is a little bit more difficult because it runs from the hatch wiring harness down through the wiring harness that we've been messing with and we've i figured it out so i have it grounded here we have oh, this is going to be difficult we have the hookup right there and if i give it 12 volts we have a brake light so i know that green and white wire now needs to get tied into this wiring harness and this ground needs to get tied into that wiring harness as well so we're getting there we're getting there one down the dome light is just going to get get run to a panel switch over here actually both dome lights there's one in the front as well so both of those are going to get ran straight to a switch and then we also have the cigarette lighter which I'm going to keep, um, I'm going to run some power to it because for one, I don't want to cut it out of the plastics that we have way up there, but I don't want to cut it out of the plastics. And I also feel like I could use it for an inverter or something like that. Back to the tail lights. went to TriStar today and got the trailer wire. I ran it through the fuel pump up there and pops out. I'm going to run it along the frame in the front here to right there a little bit of excess but i will secure that down right now i'm just working on getting it testing everything out making sure all my wire connectors are good making sure all my bulbs are good in both sides well i mean or or lack thereof and slowly but surely getting there isn't that right diesel we have things hooked up um I, this looks like a freaking mess. So we have it attached to Athena, right? The new wiring that we're running. All right, bear with me now. So the green is my right turn signal going to the right this way. And then my yellow is arced into, or not arced, but pressed into the left turn signal. Now, theoretically, going to the truck, Follow me now. Theoretically, if we go left. Oh, if you look at that. And if we go right. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, well. Would you look at that? Yeah, there's a so we have the set, we have the blinkers hooked up. Now I have to figure out the brake light and tail light system. So these come with two wires. So one is my brake light and one is my tail light. So now I just need to figure out how to wire these into which wire to figure out what goes where. So we're successful on the blinkers. I'll be back with tail lights. Holy moly. I was working on that wiring way too freaking long, but we got it wrapped up. It's got the four pin connection. I still need to tape all that up, but it runs under the forerunner, under the camper. And through the fuel pump, I need to get a fuel pump cap. But since the fuel pump already takes wires, I thought, why not just run it through there? So it runs into here. And this is where, <laughs> this is where it gets a bit confusing. So these Forerunners have odd tail lights in them because of the way that the harnesses hook up to them. I tried a dozen different ways to hook it up, but I could only get it so that this is a blinker and a brake light, and this is just a tail light. So the reasoning because that the tail light is the only thing that is the tail light, not tail light brake, is because that trailer harness is usually used for a one bulb system and i was trying to make it a two bulb system so brake lights are on the turn signals and tail lights are automatically tail lights so back to the video i ran 
The yellow and green are your tail light slash blinkers, and those ran to the blinkers. And then the brown and red are your tail lights, and I ran those to the tail lights. And of course, it just mimics right over here. I need to chop that dead bit out. Um, and then, of course, your white is your ground. So it's run. And as you can see, we have the switch for the upsy downsy, which is the rear glass. And we have the dome light that'll go right up in here, running all the way down. I just have it to the side for now. But look how clean that is. Well, Would you look at that? Yeah, so I'm not hooking it up yet, but I did want to show you the lights. I'm always coming up short, I swear. All right, now that we're not coming up short anymore, we're gonna hook that up there. Well, I guess we can't get through that way. Okay, 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 bear with me, bear with me. Oh, look at that, we got a tail light, we got a tail light. Oh, look at that, would you look at that? Oh, hey, would you look at that, we got blinker lights, yay! And there's a little bit of flash on theirs, but look at that. And I, wait, actually, actually, hold on. Just like that, we got brake lights. Well, this one's actually like the most noticeable. I mean, we got the blinker brake lights, which is a little weird. It's a little weird, okay? I get it, I get it. It's a little weird. I'm gonna have to figure it out, but I'm so hype. I can't tell you how hype I am to have the wiring done on this. Now, now it's just, it's just so close.